Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Scandinavia. So, guys, last episode, as you guys know, we are improving relationships with with the uh, Swahili, and we're doing all this colonizational front. So, yeah, it's, it's been a good day. So, let's continue. Okay, we just got some more poor provinces, more poor provinces. That means a lot more conversion now, but at least there's not going to be as many rebellions. Let's see. How many more? And we're starting to get actual tax from those provinces, which is great. Start making those whores. Convoy is apparently one of those places. I've already converted. Okay. Just need a court now. So anyways, we are fur. And I've just improved my relationship with Sagi Healy to the utmost. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to gain information. I don't really care about diplomatic power. I really wish I could get some more uh, admin power. Seriously, we need some serious admin points. Um, how is our next heir looking in terms of admin points? He's a 3-2-3. That isn't the best leader in the world, but it's not the worst. So, yeah, that, that's basically how you have to take this. Um, once my diplomat comes back to my land, okay, go back to Swahili. Let's see, how close are you guys to actually. Let's see, you guys, I'm pretty sure I can convince you guys to, uh, to, uh, give up your negativity with us if I give you guys cost to improve our relationship by six. Three hundred gold. Are they worth three hundred gold? Well, considering I am going to conquer them back. Wait, can I just, like, colonize this? No, I cannot. I'm really going to have to use these guys, so, let's see. Send a gift. 300 gold, 300 gold, I'm really trying to get you guys to like me, so you guys better not backstab me, okay, let's go send this right here, gosh, we're almost done, I'm almost done with all this colonization, we are so stupidly close, it's not even funny, oh gosh, so stupidly close, when I get done with this colonization fun, I'm going to be so happy, okay, lose stability, and We've had so many good modifiers recently that it's finally good that we finally got something bad. Let's see, we got some kind of event happening with this and maintaining shipping routes, so tariff efficiency at least 100%. What's our tariff efficiency right now? Tariff efficiency 46%. Now it's just protecting the sea lines for 41 policies given in effective use basically that means I'd have to send more ships. Incorporate- Oh! Ooh, yes, let's do this event. Because then this also helps speed up my my annexation of holding time, which is taking so very long. Okay, it seems like these guys want to go deal with fighting. Oh no, they left. Wow, they just instantly left. They didn't even, like, stay for tea or something. And looted province. That's kind of sad. I don't even think I looted these provinces. That must be the that must be the natives, because I did not loot the provinces. I refused to loot provinces, and I sent that diplomat over there, so... Swahili, you guys should like me a lot. Let's see. Okay, maybe what I can do is ask for military access, get that, and then kind of build up a relationship with these guys. I'm not gonna... Okay, yes, okay, so now we got that done with. Let's keep... Converting more provinces, and let's see, let's make sure that are we almost all done with our, um, where is it, there we go, we're almost all done with our coin, almost, we still just got a couple more provinces and then we're done, anyways, Swahili, come on guys, you really can do this, you really, really, really can do this, I'm just trying to get military access so that I can invade you, okay, that's basically where we're at right now. And it seems like the French have come in for some reason. There's, I think there's this whole entire war going on. I'm not even realizing it. Let's see. So France is at, So let's see. You're at war with the Livonian Order. France, Cleves, Bavaria. Yeah, you are, you are guys are in a very serious war right now. This is like war between opposite fronts right now. That's going to be a pretty heavy war. And we're just getting Conroy. Okay, and I just got my diplomat back. So let's see. How can I delete this? Neutral attitude towards Scandinavia. Oh, I hate you guys so much. Okay, um... 
trying to think here. What else can I do to like improve? Uh, they're just not, I just don't think they're gonna act proclaim guarantee me. Oh wait, no, no. I don't wanna do that. Off an alliance. I know if I got an alliance with them, they would probably like say yes, but I don't want an alliance with them. I just wanna use them. Uh, maybe France was no France is never gonna say yes. I need some colonies over there. Yeah, I can't get over there. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna have to do. Some, I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm definitely gonna have to like, like see if I can like proclaim guarantee. Maybe is that gonna get you guys? No, you guys are still not going to. Uh, oh gosh. Well, I guess the second strategy I could do is just go invade like. <laughs> I could just go invade the Mamelukes and then just like steal their land. See if I could do that. Maybe that would help. It seems like we got a new tech or a new idea group we can go into. 360 admin power for that? No. No way, no how. We need to keep our admin down. Seriously, we need to like keep upgrading that stuff. I mean, next time we get it, we'll be able to get a new ideas group. Which I think what I'm going to go for is either expansion or diplomacy. Depending on my mood. Because <laughs> I do think we do need to get some more expansionist ideas because we're kind of playing off like... We're kind of playing the expansion role right now. We want to be very much expansionist people. So, it's a very good idea that we get that all settled down. Let's see, we have three colonies right now going. Oh, great. Two of them are about to finish, though, so that's good. Colonel, colonel, uh, venues. Whatever. Doesn't really affect me either way, honestly. So, damage my colony, damage my colony. Mm. Looted, that's not good. I didn't know that province was looted. Um, con conversion successful. Wow, we're just, we're just knocking these all out. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, Aztec. You know what, we can keep the Aztecs. Maybe what I'll try to do with the Aztecs is just try to casually adopt them into my culture. I'm not going to casually adopt these guys, so... Um, convert them. Uh, Self-sustaining. So Alright, that means I should get another diplomat, so maybe... Yes! Oh yes! I think I just blocked I think I just blocked the British from getting from getting the colony inside of America. Which means I don't have to do my long convoluted plan. Yes! Okay, so that means I just have to send my soldiers over here to make sure that natives don't do anything because you know, it happens a lot. So let's see. I'm sorry guys. I'm so sorry I didn't block you guys out. Um, but let's say evil and finally our king is finally alive oh goodness sakes that means we can finally do stuff and our admin power is great and we can also get a new idea group oh great this is like going up millhouse right now so let's see what do we want diplomatic ideas probably could be pretty helpful um let's see what do, what do i want right now let's see if i know i have a this, this requires a lot of other stuff. I want to make sure, so this requires, what does this require to make it work? This requires, um, diplomatic. Well, I'm using my diplomatic for absolutely nothing right now, so, you know, we can, we could definitely do the diplomatic ideas. And, let's see, global trade power, shipbuilding, cost of colonists, travel time, uh, merchants, I mean, this seems like a lot of stuff I would do. Let's see, administration, poor cost, I mean, Full cost would be pretty nice, but I need to first expand enough to do this. And then getting a permanent cost battle against less advanced nations in Asia. Ooh, that'd be nice. Let's do it. Expansionist ideals. Expansionist advance. Let's get the coloni let's get the colonizer already. That way now we have three colonies. Three like colonial men. Oh gosh, I love colonizing. I just love it. Okay, and this, we're sending our colonized colony right there. And we're gonna go send another colony. Let's see, where do we want the other colony to be? Mm -hmm. Now, I could honestly start working more on my, my little, like, empire in Africa. I mean, it's a very small empire, but we could try to at least expand it just a little bit. I mean, it's no harm done there. Mm -hmm. Maybe what I could do is... Wait, wait. What if I build a dock here? No, not a ship. Buildings. Let's build a... Let's build a dock. I think I've already built a dock here, so then... 
And I would not help it. It's the fact that I don't think we can reach the other ships in time. That's the reason why I won't be able to cross the sea. So let me think. Temple? No. Actually, let me put a temple there. Yeah, build a temple. Uh, let's start. Yeah, let's just start doing a little bit more colonization over here in Africa. Uh, Augusta's reform. 60 ducats and into the term or national tax modifier. Doesn't really last, so let's just gain the 60 ducats and all this and a good jazz. And conversion successful, yay! And I can become the defender of the faith again. I'm not going to though because I don't really. It feels like I go into more wars than I should in the realm of defending the faith. That's all I'm gonna say. Seriously, and now that we are. You know, kind of at peace. Let me see. When, when's my colony gonna arrive up here? Because I wanna make sure that we can get this last little bit. Okay, and my colonists are rushing into this area. Oh gosh, it's so exciting. It's it's so very exciting, guys. We're finally gonna, we're gonna be able to block the British without having to block the British. And it seems like my colony was damaged a little bit over here, but it's still gonna live. Which is good. Oh gosh, and I still got one to come back free point right now. So let me go use that right now, because that is you know, something we should be doing. Let's see, we have an alliance with these guys. France is basically messing them up. Um, let's see, is there anyone that we would love to fabricate claims on in England for that war? Um, not these guys, because I think the Emperor right now is the Holy Romans. Yes, the Holy Romans are the Emperor right now, so I don't want them to come in. Bohemia is also voting for all these guys here. I don't really want to get involved with these politics, but, you know, once I integrate Hansa, I mean, Odenstein to my empire, Maybe we'll start dealing with a little bit more into, like, HRE politics again. You know, we just got out. I think we should probably start dealing with that, because we definitely don't want the HRE to form. If they form, then we're going to have to deal with a lot of stuff. But, like, over here we have our new colony going to be set up, and I'm about to connect my land, my Aztecian land, to my other land. We blocked the British. I'm not. Oh uh, gosh, we blocked the British so hardcore right now. Alright, and Casas Bella against the Cherokee? Well, I don't know why the Cherokee are doing that. They should know that I'm more powerful than them in merchants. I could gain another merchant. That's actually really good. And since I'm already ahead in, in uh, points right now, let me see. Let me make sure about all this. In my head right now? Yes, I'm way ahead of my time in diplomatic stuff, so we could slow down in that. So. What I'll start doing is maybe I'll start uh, curving my. Uh, let's see, where's my what's my trade power look like right now? I'm collecting from this sphere because I own this. I'm transferring trade power from there. Um, do I own any trade power over here? No, I do not. I do own a couple trade power over here, and I do own some trade power over there. Maybe, and if I let's see, if I steered it, I would mostly go over here, which I don't want to do. Maybe I could probably steer this trade power, or maybe this trade power to... You know, let's try to steer this trade power to my node a little bit more. Uh, let's see, what's the name of the guy that's free right now? Uh, wait, is he already working? Did I already assign him to someone? Wait, Sifgard. Yeah, let's do Sifgard is free. Okay, yeah. So let's see, transfer Sif with Sifgard. Yeah, him. Transfer trade power to my place. Okay, so we can at least have a stability drop, but then get back up. Yeah, I'm keeping about zero stability right now, but that's okay. So let's just yeah, let's just try to steal more, steer more trade over here to try to get my node a little bit more powerful, so we can keep collecting more and keep getting more money. Because that's what our ultimate goal is, money. And right now we have a lot of stuff that we can do. Let's see. Let's go see if we can build more temples, build more temples. <laughs> oh gosh, I love building temples. My Scandinavian temple over there, not gonna be built. And let's see, is there any early ramparts we need to build right over here? All in that land, right over there too. Uh, let's see, anything else? No, not over there. Yeah, it seems like we built the rest of these. And any armories that we wanna build? Armories, ooh, we do need a lot of armories. Let's see, is that, by the way, is there any buildings that we might need? Could get an adversary, but uh, we need 800 to build that. Actually, that's a little bit expensive. A trade colony, we could do that too. Hmm. Let's see, canals, local trade power, or armories, local recruitment time manpower. I think we do need this. 
Because right now, I'm in power stone to explode, but we still need to make sure that we can do everything. So let's build a new one, new St. James, and a couple of these new little provinces right over here. We'll get some new national stuff, and there we go. So yeah, we're just going to be stealing more trade power from over there. That's really, this is a really quite exciting event right now. We are really starting to pick up pace right now. And now we could possibly go to Clearwater and Cherokee if we wanted to, but since we've already blocked up the British and we've, you know, stopped the expansion of them, I don't think there's much need anymore. Like, we don't have to declare war on Cherokee, which is ultimately good. I don't have to fight them for land. I don't even, to be honest with you guys, I don't even have to fight any of these guys anymore for land. It's kind of nice to think of that way. I don't have to fight natives anymore. Yes! Yes! My goals have been reached, and down here in our African colonies, we're doing our best to colonize. It's probably going to take a really long time for this colony to start because it's just so big. And it seems like we got a new thing of show superiority to the Inca. I'm not really over there in the Inca land, and I don't think I ever will be. The Spanish seem to be the ones that are going to deal with that, so yeah, I'll let them, I'll let them be in their own domain. Because I obviously will not be able to go over there. Let's see, Swahili, how are you guys doing? Um, I can declare war for why? Why can't I declare war? Oh, because now I can just declare war randomly for people. Uh, that's really good to know, but seriously, I'm trying to figure out how do I... Well, maybe I could set one of their rivals or one of my rivals. Yes! That always works! Okay. So let's see, Portugal can be one of my rivals because, honestly, I think a lot of people hate Portugal, and I can believe why. Uh, because, let's see, Portugal, let's go to my, after my empire. Let's see. Portugal as a rival, let's see. I want to say Portugal. Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. I mean, I don't even think they like me at all. Yeah, we don't really like each other, so I can see why we could be set as a rival. So Portugal will be set as a rival. Should give me some diplomatic stuff with him. He's now a rival of rival. Should give me a good positive bonus. Yes, I now have a positive bonus. Can I please ask for this? Oh, so close. So very close. I mean, we have... Shouldn't we have enemy of enemy? Wait, right, let's see. 77. Ally and strength. Not in the same religious group. Neutral attitudes towards Sweden. Distance between borders. Okay, we're so very close though. I just need to overcome that one barrier. And then from there, once I get the alliance, I think then they're going to give me my the uh, right to colonize. And then from there, I can colonize right here. And then from there, then I can just go in and go just go in and go destroy them. <sighs> this is like a really gigantic diplo plan here. This so gets a little bit more complex when you get into later games. That's all I gotta say. It gets really complex when you get into later games. All right, and I got a lot of diplomatic stuff I could do, but I'm not going to. Traditions, good slave. Uprising? What? I have slaves? What? Oh, the Huron. I, I could get mad. The Huron could be mad at me, and I don't really care, but seriously, I have slaves in my country? What? Really? That's terrible. Oh, gosh. No. Uh, I don't like that. Wish it was an option, I could abolish slavery right now. I would totally do it. I would just want to peacefully colonize. I don't really like that, but... Alright, let's see. Oh no, my colony was damaged. Ah, oh, dang it. It seems like this colony is probably not going to go out without a fight, so that means I'm probably going to have to, uh... Legitly colonize, like, right next to it for it to work. Which does give me a good contract with the Portuguese, which is going to be nice. Let's go send a, coloni a colonizer again over there. And let's go take one of my fleets. I have a good gigantic fleet of just early frigates. Let's go put them all right there. Interrogation shows legitimacy. Incorporated Hodenstein into our country. We finally did it. What? Yes, and we got a new army. I don't think that army is any good, and I don't think I can support it. Yeah, it's a little bit too big. I could probably cut it down the size. Of it. Let's just like split it up a little bit. Delete like half of the army. Delete half of the army. Can I support half of the army? Uh, almost. Delete two more men. So let's see. Let's just do that. Delete other stack. There we go. Now I should have. What I need, right? I should have. Yep, 
exactly 69 troops and now I can move my border up to right here and now let's see I have some galleons oh gosh these are old units like really old yeah we are no no these are actually still upgrade units so yeah but still I still got all you guys doing all this Ooh, I'm so happy so let's see now that we got these incorporated I should start revoking yeah removing the state cores Greatly upset the Roman Empire. I don't care. <laughs> he already hates me already, so I don't really care. Well, let me make sure about this. Before I completely do this, let's see. Total, who has the biggest army right now? France. That's scary. Then the Muscovy, then Ottomans, then Scandinavians, then me. Yeah, I'm ahead of Austria right now. But right now, it's still no good. Oh my goodness, they have a stupidly amount of manpower, but they waste a lot of it. Muscovy also has a stupidly high amount of manpower. Uh, Spain also has a stupidly high amount of manpower. So do the Ottomans. Well, the Ottomans are also in different tech groups. So I don't consider them actually powerful. So it's really only Muscovy, France, and me, and Spain that I have to worry about. But the rest of the countries I can deal with. So, you know what? No longer in the HRE. Yep. <laughs> and revoke the course here. No longer in the HRE. So there we go, guys. That was today's episode. We finally conquered, we finally integrated Hodenstein to our empire. That was great, and I guess I'll see you, see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching.